Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to my Doom 2 100% walkthrough for the PC. Play through Z Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty. This is Map 14, the Inmost Dens. Now, there are still some people out there that I can't reply back to on comments. There's no reply button by your name. So, if you've left me comments on my previous videos, and I haven't replied back to you, it's probably because there's no reply button by your name. So make sure in your Google Plus settings that you have that enabled. So yeah, anyways, let's get to the video now. Alright, so we have two paths to take, one to the right and one to the left. We'll take the one on the left first. Now outside these left windows, you can snipe off some enemies, just a couple of them and eventually you'll come down to this lower area with some imps and a mega armor. Now in between the two staircases here there's this lantern wall. It's not a secret but it does have a specter inside so make sure you get it. Go up the right staircase now and once again outside these windows you can snipe off some enemies. And then, we'll just go down this winding stairs and snipe off the shotgunners on this lower level. Now see this platform with the switch on top? There is a way to get that. We'll have to go back the way we came, go back up these stairs, and then go all the way left, back to the left windows. And you can peek through the windows to make sure you can see the switch, and then run out of the window and into the water and then just lower the platform and press the switch. That switch will open up this door so you can get inside and grab yourself a rocket launcher and also flip this switch. Now this lift will take you back to the starting room so it's kind of cool the way they did that. We'll go back down these stairs, we'll skip the red door area for right now and go to this unmarked door. Behind this unmarked door is a revenant make sure he dies. Now just carefully walk inside this room. You don't want to go all the way in. You just want to go partially the way in. On both sides of you are three lost souls. Three to the left and three to the right. Make sure you kill them all. Also on the left side, you can snipe off these far away enemies near the red key. Now to get the next door to open, just walk up to it. And I use the traditional pump shotgun to snipe off the number of imps in the windows and on the ground. Just back up to get the door to reopen. So yeah, I just stand here and let the enemies come to the window and let the enemies come to me on the ground. It's just that simple. Now when you walk out of this door, immediately turn right and snipe off that chain gunner on that platform. And now we'll take the left path and go around the center building, making sure to be fairly quick because you don't want to be sniped on all sides by these guys on the platforms. So be quick about it. Go around this building that we're on, or that we're around, and snipe off all the enemies. You may have to go around one or two times to make sure you killed most everybody. Now find these stairs in the center building and go through the door. Again, make sure now when you're in this building to snipe off the remainder of the enemies from the windows. Now in this center window there's a bridge extending. Just run onto it. On the right of the bridge, make sure to kill that shotgunner. And then on the right side over here, kill these two zombie men. Now, the hallway behind the zombie men will come back later on. For right now, we'll explore the left hallway. Inside these alcoves, make sure to grab the items. And also, the red key. So now, we'll go back across the bridge and back to this familiar area and go back through the unmarked doors and go to the red door. Open up the red door, 
flip the switch, it will lower down the red bars. Now, have your BFG ready. When you run through these doors, fire. You want that arch vial to die from the BFG, and then just clean up everybody else. Run to the left, kill the chain gunner in that platform area, and then ride this lift up. This invisibility will come in real handy because now we'll head to the right platform over here, take care of that chain gunner, and do the same thing as last time. So, the goal of this invisibility is to take care of the gunners behind these windows. So let's go ahead and do that. Once everybody is dead, just grab all the ammo around here, and then just go through the door. Now near where the blue key is, you'll find this window right here. Just drop down into the water, and go to the back side of this building to kill the imps. Now follow the right hand wall until you get to these open red bars and then to this door. Make sure to find the imp behind the door as well as the arachnotron behind these bars. Just walk up to the bars to open them and I just use the plasma gun for this arachnotron. Grab the soul sphere. To the left of the soul sphere is this window. Just drop into the water and turn right and go up this lift. From the top of the lift, just run back to this familiar area. Go back up the stairs and through the door. Again, go back to this bridge. And now we'll take the right path behind the zombie men. Now see that ledge right there? You want to run to it. It can be a tricky jump to make, so you may have to save your game. Now we approach the blue door. To the right and left of it, you can snipe off some chain gunners from the windows. I've never had them do that before. Go down the stairs. Now to the left of the blue door, you can wind yourself around here to the back side and open up this wall. It's not a secret, but you can snipe off some enemies and the remainder of the enemies from here if you want. So now we'll go back and go through the blue door and kill the specter down below. And I really like the design of this wall right there. Very, very cool. So now we'll just run across the gap. There's water down below. And we are done with this map. The inmost dens. Now, there are some things that we can say about this map, some things that are both good and bad about this map. First, there are two things that I always try to consider when I'm playing through maps of Doom, and that is gameplay and design. Now, for gameplay, it's kind of hard to botch up gameplay, because every Doom map is going to have gameplay in one fashion or another. But I'll be the first to admit that this map seems to be missing something when it comes to gameplay. A certain ingredient, a certain flair. I don't know what that is because I'm not observant enough, but it's missing something. It doesn't have that strong replay value that you would expect from an awesome map. Now. On the other side of the coin, we got design, and there is no denying that this map is one of the most beautifully designed maps in all of Doom 2. In fact, for me, it's number two most designed, most well-designed map in all of Doom 2. It just seems to be missing some gameplay. This map stands out in terms of design, but it's just not a map I replay a lot. I don't know. Whatever, you guys can make your own opinions on that. Let's move on to the next map, Map 15 Industrial Zone, in the next video. So until next time, I'm Big Mac Davis. I'll catch you guys later. And by the way, Industrial Zone, not a map I really cared for back then, but now that I've been playing this map again, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.